Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back. Um, today, we're going to do the same thing as last time. We're going to edit some photos of a wedding I just took. Well, it was probably like, you know, eight months ago or so. And we're going to go through the steps and process that I take to make my photos look the way I want them to. So if you're just tuning in, uh, I would recommend go watch the last video on editing raw photos in, photo, or in Lightroom 4. And the topic today is still weddings. Um, so this is gonna be part two. And like I said before, calibrate your screen. If you don't calibrate your screen, then it's no big deal, but you know, you might not be seeing what I'm seeing or what you should be seeing. And just side note, I'm sick, so the voice is a little lower, which isn't nice. But if I start hacking up and coughing everywhere, I apologize almost immediately in advance. So, okay, let's dive in here. So this photo right here is one I took of a couple. Um, and this was in Pacific City, Oregon. And they were brave enough to, well, I should say she was brave enough to step or get pulled up on top of this huge little mushroom rock. There was no ladder or anything. This is like up on mountain. <laughs> so I was glad to take their photo. I had, you know, no, nothing bad to say about it as long as they could get her up there safely. And so just to get a little set up out of the way. Um, for this shot, I use, I think, uh, 1DS2, no, 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 1DS3, and this lens I had on this one was uh, Canon's 200mm 2.0 prime. They're huge, big prime. It's probably one of my favorite lenses. And I shot it at 2.5, and it's a fixed prime lens, so it's 200 millimeters, which is my favorite focal length, as you all may know already. And this was at 1 2,000 of a second, ISO 100. And so if we zoom in, mind you, real quick, this is uh, an edited file, so I'm just gonna reset it. And it looks pretty good, you know, a little flat. Again, we're working with RAWs, that's the whole point. But if we zoom in, um, it's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> you can notice there's some fringing or some chromatic aberration garbage going on. But uh, it's pretty sharp, and once we add some sharpening in post, it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to dive right in here for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with my exposure. And I'm going to bring it up a little. Shadows, I'm going to bring them down a lot. Blacks, I'm going to bring them down. Whites, maybe bring them up just to kind of make the whites pop even more. And then bring the highlights down a little. And clarity, maybe a little bit. I don't want it to affect their skin. Saturation, maybe just a little bit. I'm losing some tone on their faces. Nope, getting rid of it. Never mind. And let's go down here. Blues, I'm just going to throw them up. There's not many blues in here anyways. Sharpening, I'm going to do a lot. Probably about 50, 60. That looks good. And vignette, yes. Let's go about there. That's good enough for me. So for now, the image is looking kind of blah. Um, so I'm going to bring, bring the white balance up a little warmer and bring that clarity down to 5%. Shadow's a little too much in his face. I'm going to bring some magenta more in there, a little too much. I'm going to zoom in on here and look what's going on in his face and grab a brush. And I'm just going to restart it and put a little exposure. <clears throat> and I'm going to start there, back it off. Just get enough. I don't want those shadows in there. So in fact, I'm just gonna play with the shadows. And as you see, that kind of just brightens up their face a little, just enough. And now I'm gonna get another brush and paint over this rock. And you know, you can always set this really high and start painting places just to see where you're painting. Uh, and then obviously go over here and change it. It's non-destructive, so you know, you can always make adjustments. So for the rock, I'm going to throw the clarity up a lot, probably maybe make a little more orange like it really was. A little brighter. Nah. <clears throat> That's probably good for me. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a new brush. And I love how this rock looks. 
and I'm gonna see if we can make it look a little better. So clarity, you can immediately tell that just brings out all the textures and craziness of it. So maybe make it a little orange, uh, liven it up a little, it's good enough. I'm gonna get another brush and go down here and I'm just going to maybe darken it a little or something. Clarity again. And that's good enough. I think this rock needs to be brighter. So I'm going to go... I'm going to leave it. That's good. And um, I still think it's a little on the dark end. So I could just grab the exposure and bring it all, all of it up. Their faces still seem dark to me. Um, so I'm just going to get... You know, point ten of exposure in there. And that looks good to me. Everything looks a little orange now, so maybe I'll just try to bring this down. That looks good. Now let's get another brush and see what we can do to the ocean. It was not very blue. It was just this kind of pale, blah looking thing. So let's see. You really can't do much to it without it looking fake like that. So I'm just going to maybe darken it. Or brighten it. Brightening it kind of just makes the image a little more happy. It was a really kind of dark, dull day, no sun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lighten it up. Grab a saturation, maybe look at that. Bring it all the way down. It's a little color selection, but not, you know, cheese. Too much? Nah. I'm going to bring it down a little. I kind of like that. Keep overexposing it. I'm just winging this, by the way. I. This is probably a completely different edit than what I showed you guys before. Or oh, it's the same, who knows. So, let's take a look. Pretty sharp, pretty sharp. Those rocks are awesome. Um, this is good. I like it. I'm satisfied. Maybe I'll even grab a, one of these little brushes and see what we can do out here. Maybe like bring the exposure down a little. Sure. I'm going to grab the highlights too and bring these down a little. Some stuff is clipping. And in fact, their face is too bright now. That's good. Maybe I'll get another brush. I'm just going crazy extreme here. Go over her dress and grab the highlights. Just to get a little more detail back in it like that. That's awesome. So this is pretty good. However, what is this? What is this crap right here? That dark. I don't know what that is. Maybe we can lighten it up. Nope. Let me crop it out. I don't. Mm. Sure, whatever. Maybe we'll use this tool. I'm just kind of dinking around with this. Make sure we're on clone, not heal. Come on, work. Uh. So terrible. Come on. Oh, did that work? Eh, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Maybe we'll just try to do this. Da, 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 da. Sure, what the heck. <laughs> now maybe we'll darken it up and try to make it look fine. Okay, this is just getting way out of hand. Whatever, I'm leaving that. Uh, I'm going to drop the exposure overall again right there, and that is it for this image. It took a long time. Uh, it still looks a little blown out over here. Eh, actually, no. My screen's just playing games with me. Got to look at it in a different direction. Okay, so this is pretty good. Um, we'll go ahead and look at what it looked like before. And uh, before, again, it's flat. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. Shmush, meh. And this kind of just makes it look more warm, rich, and still realistic and, you know, uh, presentable. So, I mean, what we did, you know, we brightened up that rock, uh, got added more contrast with clarity, same with this rock, and made them look good. Again, did the vignette trick to kind of isolate them, and it looks great. I would hang that. In fact, they hung this on their wall. I saw it recently. Pretty cool. Anyways, on to the next one. Da, da, da. So this is reset. There's no nothing on this one yet. And just real quick, ISO 200, 200 millimeter. This was the 200 millimeter prime again. 3.5 at 2,500 of a second. 
on a 1DS3. So I'm just going to dive in because we're going quite long on this video. So immediately I can tell it's kind of blown, blown out a little, highlights and whatnot. I, d I love this. <laughs> the old seagull. So I'm just going to jump into this shadows. I'm going to do some blacks, maybe bring that exposure back up. White balance is a little orange, so I'm going to do that for now. Clarity, I'm going to see what this does, bringing it up, kind of uh, tightens it up a lot. Got to watch out for what it does to their skin. Uh, vibrance, I'm going to take it to the point where it, before it starts affecting skin tone, so that's good for now. That's just going to kind of bring up their overall um, colors in the background. Scrolling down, I'm going to add some sharpness. I like to always add sharpening. Vignette, of course. That's good enough. And uh, where's my greens? Here we go. I'm going to grab these. In fact, I'm just going to grab this little button right here and go ahead and select the greens in the background and just see what we can do with those. I kind of want them to pop, but not too much. Now I'm grabbing a brush tool. Um, going to use clarity and just kind of go over these rocks. Uh, I love clarity. <laughs> it's an awesome tool. Just going to go over these. Sure, over that. Not too much. Okay. And um, maybe even darken it a little. Nah, they look fine. And let's see. Contrast. Yeah, it looks good enough. Okay, grabbing another brush and I'm gonna go work on her face and the whole body so reset that and I'm gonna bring the overall brightness of her up because she is the center of attention in this photo obviously and she needs to be brighter um, shadows is pretty good it really only grabs the dark spots on whatever you're painting exposure will obviously bring everything up so I kind of like to do a mix of them depending on what I'm shooting. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring the exposure down. Shadows up more. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. This seagull. Let's grab a brush and go paint him. Eh? Without making it look like a ghost effect on the sky. And grab that clarity just to make him pop out a little more. Yeah old Mr. Seagull. That is good for me. Um, I'm going to bring the overall exposure up. Just one click. One more? Two more? Three more? Going down again. This is uh, this is good enough for me. Um, oh, wait. You know what? No, i got to grab a brush. i got to go over the back. Whoop, background. I want to make those green trees look not so hazy. So again, we're going to just use clarity, and that tightens it up a lot. And eh, Let's try some contrast even. Yeah, sure, look at that. It separates her from the background a lot, and that was really far from her too. can even bring the exposure down. Um, just a smidge. And there we go. Uh, let's try one more thing. Let's use this tool, the old gradient brush. Grab the sky and see if there's any, nope, there's no clouds, there's nothing, it's just blah, let's leave it, um, I'm gonna grab some magenta and throw it in there, that's good enough for me, I think, okay, so this is it, um, pretty happy, bring exposure up maybe, yeah, somewhere around here, that looks good, let's go ahead and look at what it looked like before, and wow, it's really washed out. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a very flat tone shot. But thank God for raw. I love raw. And after looking at it again, I'm going to grab the brush that was on her. And um, I'm going to maybe try to add some contrast. Nah. No. Nah. Bring exposure down. Make it warmer. Add some clarity to it, maybe. Get rid of the warmness. Kind of wanted it just to pop out a little more. That's good enough. Okay, again, let's look at it before. Crazy, crazy. Look at that. I tell you what. 
So this is pretty cool. Um, if you saw this uh, first and you didn't ever see the original, uh, you know, it would obviously look completely different in your eyes, but because you get to see the original here, it's always interesting to compare the two. <laughs> so, bam, 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 da, 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 bam. So, on to the next photo, maybe? Or right, let's add some, some warmness to this one again. And then go on to the next one. Okay, we're cutting at like 16 minutes. It's going to be a long one. Everybody's still uh, sitting in their chairs, drinking their mocha and eating their crumpet. This was a brave one for on his part before they get married to <laughs> hoist her on the rock. Okay, for time's sake, I'm going to do a black and white. And because uh, I haven't done a black and white yet, um, we're just going to start by grabbing saturation and doing that. Simple way to do it. I'm going to start with clarity because I love clarity with black and whites. Very key in my opinion. And uh, we'll grab the shadows and bring them down even more. Get some moodiness to this. Exposure, maybe bring it up. Um, a little, probably be about there. Highlights, I'm going <coughs> to... Excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to bring that down a little. And uh, let's go down here. Sharpness, yes. Um, vignette, only a little. This photo doesn't need much. And uh, for grain, I'm going to see what we can do with some grain. Uh, this was shot with the 200 millimeter prime again at 2.0. Uh, and it is super sharp. Let me get rid of that grain. It's an awesome lens. If anybody ever gets the chance to use it, use it. And uh, so let's get back here. Brush. I'm going to grab clarity and just go over this rock. I want it to pop out. Uh-huh. That's cool. I'm going to do the same with this. That's good. Start a new brush and see what this water would look like if we do anything to it. Maybe add some shadows to it in between the legs. And maybe tone it down just a little. No, I kind of like it. I kind of want it blowing out again. I'm going to grab a new brush. And let's go over them. And start fresh. And uh, maybe add some contrast. I still need them to pop out a little more. Uh-huh. Looking good, looking good. And I'm going to do a new brush. Again, do the highlights on the dress. Oops. Just come on. And I'm going to get some more detail on those. Just a little. That's good enough. Um, Maybe get the contrast of the overall image. And I'm going to bring that up. That's good. Happy, happy. So this is real, 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 real fast black and white. Uh, pretty happy. Looks cool. Looks awesome. I would hang it. I would be very happy. So this is what it looked like before. Again, kind of like the last image. Very washed out. I don't know if that's just the 1DS3. The raws look really washed out or something. Or it's just location, the time of day, the colors we're working with. Who knows? But uh, it's very edgy looking. Um... Classy still, in my opinion. I like it. Again, everybody's different. Every artist, every photographer. So, you know, what I like might not be what you like, which is totally okay. Um, so, coming up on 20 minutes, I think. So, uh, like it, subscribe, share it, and uh, I'm going to keep them coming. Because I have many weddings and many shoots I can keep doing this with. So, really... Uh, happy with the uh, comments and emails I got on the last one, so keep them coming. And I have not neglected all of you who emailed me and asked about a preset, because I know I said I would give you one. And uh, I'm working on it. I know it's very simple, and uh, I'll put it up on my website, and all of you can go grab it and download it for free and be happy and, uh, and continue watching my videos. So uh, thank you, YouTubers. Another one's coming soon, and hopefully I won't be sick. A goodbye.